So as I said earlier, we um, Disneyland shut down due to the pandemic, and Libby and I, at least, were very much missing our Disney time. And Florida reopened far ahead of Disneyland here at home. So um, for spring break this year, we hadn't traveled anywhere in feels like forever. And they were at um, reduced capacity. They had all these health and safety measures in place. Um, and Ron and I went back and forth, like, do we, do we schedule the trip? Do we not? We, you know, we've all been careful. Ron had been vaccinated at that point. I had one dose of vaccine. Libby wasn't eligible yet because they hadn't brought the age down. Um, we knew Disney, we trusted Disney. We knew that we weren't going to go off property. We were just going to stay on in our hotel rooms and go to the parks. And they were at the time, they were super, super strict and vigilant. You were masking outside even outdoors yeah. at all times except when actively eating or drinking they caught someone like trying to take a bite of churro and they're like don't go put your mask back on so they were really they and it was the except for having to wear a mask a lot of the day it was actually the best uh, trip to walt disney world ever because there were just so the crowds were so light yeah it was nice so we took spring break. Um, I think the worst thing was the flight uh, because, you know, you had gone from being six feet apart from everybody and wearing masks to being literally two inches away from everyone on a plane. Um, but we we headed out to Orlando. We stayed at Art of Animation. So we got to ride the uh, Skyliner for the mm-hmm. first time. Ron's, That's favorite ride. Favorite Ron's ride. favorite ride. Yes. Um, we had a lovely, we did, I think, two days in every park. Um, mm-hmm. It was just absolutely amazing um and so um and then we were we at the end of our trip um second to last day our last day at hollywood studios and the only thing that libby wanted to do was ride rock and roller coaster (laughs) and i had a major mom fail moment where i thought the park was open an hour later than it was supposed to be we had a fast pass everything we were all set to go ride the ride our dinner ran a little bit late and we missed riding rock and roller coaster so libby was devastated i was even more devastated there may may or may not have been tears (laughs) from both of us um and so ron said hey we're gonna come back because we are going on the thanksgiving cruise so why don't we just book a couple days ahead of the cruise and come back and do hollywood studios so we actually Looking ended up for me, Dad. I appreciate that. We actually ended up going to Walt Disney World twice this year. Um, like I said, once we were just on lockdown on property. The second time we went was for um, it ended up being four days. We spent two days in the park and then two days on property. We got to see Aunt Linda and Uncle Mitch, which was really amazing. Um, but the second time we went, we were lucky enough that we were there for the 50th anniversary. So that and just for started. And Christmas time. And for Christmas time. So the 50th anniversary started October 1st. Um, we went middle of November. So except for missing a field competition for band, which was kind of a bummer. And except for the fact that uh, we decided not to do the cruise for Thanksgiving. So we just went for our, our little Walt Disney World trip. We actually got two times into Walt Disney World. So uh, The Magic is Calling is the theme song from uh, Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary so we hope that you enjoy it 